First time up here, what do you think? This is a really big hill. Uh, so if I'm a Confederate or a Union soldier, I'm standing on top of uh, Rocky Face Ridge, I would be like, what are you thinking sending me up there in leather shoes broken to come up here? But this is a very, very impressive position. I've been to the foot of Rocky Face Ridge before. I've never come up here. It was an adventure to get up here. We were just describing it as a ride through Jurassic Park to get up to this point. I didn't see any stegosauruses or anything like that. But I mean, you can see all the way, we're in Georgia, we're in North Georgia. You can see into Tennessee and in the distance today because it's fairly clear we can see all the way out to North Carolina. So this is an imposing position. Remember the Atlanta campaign is a series of uh, logistical fights where we're gonna keep our logistics open if we are Sherman, William T. Sherman, or Joseph Johnston. It's also a series of speed bumps utilizing the natural topography to slow down William T. Sherman and his army. And around here at Dalton, Georgia, this is really the first time these two armies are gonna start to meet at places like Tunnel Hill, Rocky Face Ridge. They'll eventually fall back uh, to places that they're gonna dub the hell hole around Dallas, New Hope, Church, Pickett's Mill, and then eventually to another imposing mountain known as Kennesaw Mountain that you can see on a clear day right down to Atlanta. So from up here, they claim that we can see 85 miles. Um, it's a fairly clear day uh, where we are. So this is a very impressive uh, place. What, do you, what you see up here also are earthworks. Most people think of uh, low mounds of earth. Up here, we have rocks. Uh, we were joking on the way up, everyone's gonna describe this as Little Round Top or Culp's Hill. Well, this has nothing, Culp's Hill and Little Round Top have nothing on this uh, Rocky Face Ridge. But you can see these are stacked up by Confederate soldiers in 1864. Um, and then you go down to a line that's actually dug, an actual dug line uh, of trenches. So this is an impressive piece of, of ground. And you notice it's not very wide. Chris can fall over that side, I can fall over this side. And you might be able to hear the highway uh, right down below us. So, if you ever get a chance to head out to Rocky Face Ridge, even if you don't climb it, just stand at the foot of it and take in just the vista that it, it represents and then make your way down to Kennesaw Mountain. Take that in and look at two of the most imposing physical features in the Western theater of the American Civil War.